Hey everybody, welcome back. We, we made some mistakes in the last episode, but this time we're going to be perfect from now on. Like build to spill. I don't know, let's run it this way. Let's let's run it like that. I know it seems a little weird. But I'm I'm wary. Let me be a salty alien. Um I'm wary about an enemy team running a goose. So why not have it hit a unit that has one HP? I don't I fundamentally I don't think it's gonna make too much difference either way. Fundamentally, I think uh the salty aliens own the shy bones. I'm leaving round one and two with at least one trophy, and it feels good. It feels darn good. You gotta remember though, when you take a bulldog, it feels like you're basically saying, you're, you're trading a little bit of the future for the present. Because I don't think it really has a, it, it actually almost scales badly. Holy cow, our goose strategy worked. Um, because of the fact that, you know, let's say it's like a 15-15, but then it gets hit for seven on round seven. Then in the next time it gets a chance to attack, its attack is essentially halved. So I feel like it's a it's a bad unit to invest stats in. That's that's what I'm trying to get at, I suppose. I love a doorhead ant, and I will take it in any circumstance, whether appropriate or not. That doesn't mean it's good, because what do I know? Um, I would even add a second doorhead ant, and straight up, I would just give one some freaking apples while we're here, man. And actually, now I'm kind of tempted to run a Silk Moth in position two and let the Doorhead Ant possibly get some of the buffs from the Silk Moth, if that makes any sense. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I think your Bulldog is going to go pog crazy on me. I don't, I don't think I got any, any recourse to stop you, but I, that's right, I've got a second Doorhead Ant. I do have some recourse to stop you. <laughs> and we're going off. Okay. I didn't think we could beat that team, but the Doorhead Ants, they, they stay winning. They do. Roll me. I'll take a level. I'll, I'm not going to take my second level yet, okay? Like, I think you're, you're going to get buffed. And I think you're going to stick around. So I'm just going to have you basically summon a dog. That's the whole strat there. And then I really hope that my cone snail gets lethaled in one shot. So that my silk moth stands to possibly buff our doorhead ants. Son of a... <laughs> it's, what a disaster. I mean, he's, he's tanky, but that's not what we're looking for in the slightest. Whatever. Still got the job done. Somehow. It's, well, no, maybe it didn't, because then an 8-8 dog comes out. Holy cow. Very strong. Very strong lad. We almost got there. We were one attack away from getting there against a team that I thought was very well constructed, honestly. So I'm still going to take my level, mostly to get our highest, higher tier unit. And I just, I think a slug just works, dude. I think a slug just makes a lot of sense. I know we got two doorhead ants still, but that, uh, dude, tell me where the problem is. And then, now we can combine them. Run a flying fish. And then you put a musk ox here. You sell your bulldog to put a musk ox here. Yes! Now he's sort of thinking a little bit. I didn't say a lot. I said a little. My flying fish lived. You should have finished them off when you had the chance. It's hard for me to shake the feeling that um, a, a slug is just like a better lizard. I don't even know. I think it's one tier higher, so that sort of makes sense. But it feels like it's, like, a lot better. So sell me. Place me. I am kind of tempted to sell you and just throw out another flying fish. I think I could get down with that. Lettuce. Tier threes? Holy cow. Is this the rare... The rare turn... Uh, rare lettuce that actually provides some value, although I suppose it's buffing two of the same unit now that I look at it, but whatever. Take your level. I'm, I'm not sweating it. Manatee? I don't think we're looking for a manatee buff here. In principle, I like the manatee on, on this, especially when scalers are so rare. In practice, I don't think the manatee is my guy right now. It got the job done. It got there. 
You got some strong units, though. There's, there's no questioning that. But then again, so do I. Okay. That's what it's all about right here. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, we got there. I, I thought we were going to draw. We got there, though. I would love to see a level 2 flying fish, man. Come on. Well, just allow me to do a little condensation. You should have a banana on you. It makes our ox better. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm surprised and, and very pleased. I'm tempted to put a banana on the ox, too, because, like, two flying fish hitting it is going to make the monkey, like, a little better, but... Well, like, honestly, two flying fish hitting it is going to make the... It's going to make the monkey a lot better. Not sweating it. This looks like it didn't go that well, but that was still a one-for-one one trade, and then we got all the stats on the muskox on top of it. So, like, there's, there's literally 0% sweat here. We didn't even have to use our best unit. That takes us to six. Level me. You give us trumpets. Just not the sort of thing we're really interested in right now. The slug simply doesn't need it. This is a little buff for our slug only. I'd rather roll to try to find a flying fish. We're going to skip the macaw this time, okay? I do think that eggplant is just... Even if it's not good, and it, to be fair, might be good, but even if it's not good, it moving enemy squads around if that ever gave us the win i would be so appreciative and look at it's already going to screw up their trumpet build here they're still going to get a lot of hurt triggers because of the way my squad is structured but they would have gotten like three more hurt triggers if we had not done that so i'm they're still they're still listen i know they're still going to get a lot <laughs> And yet we draw, okay? I honestly think without the eggplant, we lose that round without a doubt. Because they'd get more hurt triggers on their, on their, on their guinea fowl. Level me. It actually happens. But you have to, it's, it's non-negotiable. You absolutely have to take Bird of Paradise. Then we can just roll, like, the, the pressure's off. We can look for things we actually like. Wolves would go hard here as well. Things that summon other things. We should buy avocados too. Avocados go off with the bird of paradise. But this is like, this is the scaling we need. I respect our opponent going catfish build. I think it's a, I, I've made it work exactly one time. It has not worked for me about 20 times. By the way, it's going to work for them here because they're summoning a 50-50. So more power to you. It's not really the catfish is uh, doing, but still. What a shot. Holy cow. <laughs> I really thought we had a chance on that one. That's our, that's our second loss. Okay. The bird of paradise needs the support. We, we need to run a wolf. Yeah. So you're good, but you gotta go. And the positioning is all wonky now. I'm just thinking. Maybe it doesn't, maybe you're still getting three triggers here. Maybe it's completely fine. Maybe the positioning is not a problem at all. I'd just like to see if there's an av. There is an avocado. We take the avocado then. The main reason we're taking the, the wolf is so that we get three buffed pigs that get spat out. It's not for anything to do with our muskox. That's where I was, I was getting it twisted earlier. I think we screwed up their positioning, actually. Like, their team still looks really strong. And our ox is admittedly worse because of the, the structure that we got going on here. And we're probably still going to lose. Like, we're definitely still going to lose. We're definitely still going to draw. Okay. Maybe our eggplant screwed him up enough for us to get there. I don't know. That one seemed weird. Take another avocado. Let me get this bird of paradise. To take another avocado. 
And then I don't, I don't even know who should be getting the buff right now, man, because I don't think anybody on our squad's really like... No, nobody's really good at receiving stats right now. But we should take a 2-2. Like, it's, it's worth talking about. I think that the, the most disposable unit right now is actually the, um, is the Muskox, weirdly enough. What is this squad, and why is it about to destroy me? Baboons? Big clams? This is someone who's simply... They, they've got the game figured out more than me. <laughs> I can't be expected to defeat a squad like this. What, I don't even know what it is. They got a 1331 level 1.5 clam? They've forgotten things that I've never even learned. Roll me. Definitely chocolate me. We're going to get two triggers there. Definitely chocolate me again. I think we, we can scale our, our way out of this problem. I hope. Tomato. It's always interesting. I would throw a tomato on you just to have one. A pita. If it works, it would be lovely, but I don't, I don't know. Well, you know what? We, we got to spend three gold anyway. We might as well spend three gold. Maybe it keeps you alive if you get tomatoed or something. And we got... 4-4 four, four for everybody in the squad on that turn because of that. Flying fish being pushed up actually doesn't even matter. You really think I won't push you up against the wall? What is this beluga spitting out? What's he cooking? Does he know what he's cooking? He didn't spit out anything? Oh my god, merciful. Okay, we're, we're still cruising here. I will say that the, the pigs are not doing that much. But now it's all a, it's a it's just a race to the top. Can we get enough stats to get there? So we need to spend eight gold. I don't think the muskox actually needs it. It does. It simply doesn't need it. Lettuce only hits you. Yeah. So we pass. We that we always take an avocado for the possibility of getting the two triggers on the bird of paradise. We don't need you. And then at the end of the day, I mean, like I. Straight up, I think we'd be better off selling our muskox. We're one away. Let's do it right now. I know, it's crazy. Sell the muskox. Buy an oyster. Everybody gets buffed. Sell the oyster. It takes us to six gold. Buy the blue ringed octopus. Sell. Roll. You could give us an extra faint trigger. So I, I would actually totally buy you. Doesn't that give us the buff then? It does give us the buff. I would buy you, and I would talk about hitting you up with a freaking, uh, with a, maybe a pretzel next turn. I don't know what I want you to spit out. It'd be nice if you spat out something that spat out other things. I, I know, it's a bit of a strange squad, but we're, we're basically just pivoting to all in on stats. We're all in on the bird of paradise. Not killing the flying fish is 100% is going to haunt me. I think I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at their squad, and honestly, I'm not. I'm not that scared. Like, look at our wolf, then look at their wolf, then look back to me, then back to my wolf. The the wolf is now diamonds. Now that being said, look at my pigs, then look at their pig. Like they got a better pig. I can't deny that, but it doesn't seem like it's it's likely to matter too much. It still doesn't. Okay, it 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 actually got almost to the point where it mattered, but we stayed in there. You know what else mattered? Marshall. Marshall mattered. I don't know. I, I just heard people saying it back when I was a kid, and now it just sort of, just the kind of thing that sort of stuck with me, I guess. 2-2 um, two, two buff? Sure. It's not a, not a lot, but it may be cost appropriate. Do I want you to spit out a wolf? Yes. Yes, I do. Freeze me for just a second. I think I would rather have you eat a wolf like this, and then next turn we'll get the... Oh, wait, we could actually just buy the Bird of Paradise right now. So now we got a, a beluga that's going to spit out a wolf that's going to spit out three pigs. That's then going to... We killed their bear, too! And then we got three... We got. I think I got it figured out, is what I'm trying to say. Their frog is doing some incredible work. I can't even follow my own team, which is probably a bad sign. Do 
Very similar setup, though. I mean, what are you going to do? Even if you kill my flying fish, it's irrelevant. It's the pack right there. That's nine. Win number nine. We roll. I don't want you to eat anything. That's the problem. I don't want you to eat a shop food. Would you, you would spit out a level two? We definitely just go there. Come on. We probably buy this. Chocolate cake not required. I'm almost like, oh, we don't need you to eat our food. That's fine. Yeah, okay. So there may well be another round starring Mads Mikkelsen. But for now, I, I'm, I'm freezing just in case. But I'm also cautiously optimistic about our future. Don't screw up my flying fish. They, they, you, you royally screwed up my flying fish. And they, how do you, you have more stats than I do? This is brutality. It's a strong eggplant. I can't deny the strength of your eggplant. I don't think you wanted to push that unit to the front. I think that was an accident. I don't think it's going to come back to... Well, actually, you know what? I'm looking at it. I do think it's going to come back to bite you. Yes, I do. Yo, then... Dude, we're going off! <laughs> we did it! We finally had a flying fish build that was predominantly actually a bird of paradise build. But the bird of paradise is just... I mean, it's very, 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 very good. Anytime I see one on level up, I'm like, I, it's, it's not negotiable. I have to take it. It's not, honestly, I think we could try this. But Silk Moth couldn't give me the usual suspects, huh? How about an overpriced pot? Or like a Le Crusette? Uh, excuse me, those are appropriately priced given the demand for their quality and also their quality. Let's not say things we can't take back, okay? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I forget. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Oh, Sil Silk Moth and, and Bulldog is like my classic. That's my that's my 10-piece Chicken McNugget combo. It's a go-to. Not lately, because I'm trying to pog up a little bit. But, you know, in, in principle, on a Saturday, I got to get lunch for the family. Hey, let's go, go through the drive-thru real quick. Why not? Why not just toss it up here? See what sticks. Toss it to the wall and see if it sticks like a cooked spaghetti. I think I hate the enemy team. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> They're me, but smarter. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we're going to get full HP uh, anyway. We're going to get our HP refunded. So suck on that. We get a level as well. Not that we really care to generate two trumpets, but like now you can generate a dog or generate HP on a dog. One experience and one attack. No, no, no. Like this. And admittedly, that makes our fish not very good. But that's okay. Because the turtle giving the dog plus three health is better. I think, well, what? Because a fish would give it two, one. And the sea turtle is giving it three. You know what? Let's put the sea turtle up a little bit. It's okay. The squad doesn't have to look like 100% right yet. We're trying to figure out which, which buffing, which unit that buffs newly spawned units. We want to have at the. Uh, we want to have at the back. So basically, we're choosing which one we think should buff a dog. At the end of the day, as is very common in this game, it, it, it didn't matter at all. I don't think if we had the turtle at the back, we would have we would have won. They just had a superior front line setup. Why don't you roll me? You can be as mad as you want to be. The the door head ant is a gimme. I would absolutely sell the Bulldog to, to fit a unit that spawns other units. Throw this on there for now. But those don't... <laughs> those don't really come out till next round. A Lizard, um, if we could level up and get a Slug, for example. Their own Lizard is going to eat me alive here, I think. Yeah, they do have a, the Summon on top of it. That's the, that's the worst of it, man. Holy cow. Very, very effective lizard. That's what I want for myself. But I, I guide others to a treasure I cannot possess, apparently. 
Down to three life, but I have a plan. That's Sometimes I have more life at this point, but I don't have a plan. At least this time I got a plan. Poison dart frog actually works and I think is better than what we got going on here. But it wasn't the number one unit I'm looking for, but it softens the blow to know that we got another one real quick. We should probably have the turtle do the do the buffing now. But I, I really, I have a hard time thinking we win with either of them right now, honestly. Help, help me, help me, help me. A little support, help me. It's not quite enough. And we're in, we're in dire straits. We got all this money for nothing. And the fish for free. So that probably makes more sense. I would not buy an avocado. I would roll to try to... Because we're, we're in a that kind of desperation mode right now. You need to go. A 4-3 a that summons a 2-2 two, two dog is not... Is, even if it is a 2-8 dog is not enough for us at this stage of the game. We need to find something that's that's a little bit more next level. I really feel like that's that's the crux of our squad being pretty bad. What a shot. What it, imagine if you could get the ooh, kill before he got a chance to use his egg. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did we just win a round? I'm back. Remember all this stuff I said about us slipping down the sewer? No way, dude. We are cruising now. You don't summon anything. Can I get something that summons something? Here, you, you know what? You need a banana. That's the ticket. You guys don't do any summoning on it. That's okay. Because now I actually think like we got a shot. Maybe. <laughs> Make my strongest enemies weak. That's not great for me, I'll admit. 812 monkey? It, never mind, it is great for me. Do get it twisted. We are going to the moon. Your loyalty will be rewarded. I still think it's fun to, like, just screw up the enemy squad a little bit. Like, just screw up whoever they have in position 5. Position 5 seems to be very important. And then, you know what? Why don't you just... Why don't you just have an egg on you? Just something... A little bit... We're throwing three gold at the wall just to see if it can do something for us. Okay, this is a, an incredibly strong... Uh, team. Particularly the Weasel. They're running meerkats, man. I tried a meerkat build on stream today. It accomplished uh, nothing of value. And then me and everyone in chat said it was garbage and it sucks. And and here it is, making me uh, regret my words and my deeds. Or is it? Because we won? They got a lot of gold, but we won. I'll take that. They, they got the foundation for a great econ build, but, but we took the dub. Okay, two, three, 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 four, two, three. I, I'm rolling. You still have to go. But for now, I, I do appreciate this level 3 flying fish, which should now occupy the final position. Friend ahead hurt. Give it melon and plus 5. I don't see it doing anything. Slug goes crazy here, though. <laughs> It works with our frog. It works with our fish. We can... No, we can't put a banana on it, but that's okay. We can also put an onion on... Actually, I think an onion on our units is not that good because it means that our flying fish wouldn't buff our dog when it comes out. To which I then... Now that I'm th thinking about it, I'm thinking, what frog? Or what dog? What dog? It's okay. Good shooting. I think... Do, don't... This is the one time I will say, do not let him cook. Because I feel like our, our we've cooked enough, and now it's time to let it simmer. This squad is going the, it's going the distance, dude. So we can move a frog to the back, or we can move a doorhead ant to the back. I think I like the idea of moving a frog to the back once it's in danger. And then tossing like a banana on a flying fish and getting one extra trigger. You need this. I mean, the other thing is, I guess technically, I could put an onion on you... And then you would move to the back first. And then you would move back to the front. 
But then I got to think about it because then we would have a, I think we got to put our turtle here for that to work. Let's walk it through. Oh, but then, then the frog wouldn't work. Okay, so hold on. You, get, you die, spawn. Die, spawn. Die, spawn. Die. I, there's one too many, but whatever. Then the ant comes up. Boop. It would get HP. If the ant had an onion, it would then immediately move back. Then the frog would move up. But then the frog would immediately move back. Which would then mean the ant immediately moves up. <laughs> which I think is... Listen. It's just crazy enough to work. That way it would get it would get the plus six HP or plus eight HP two times. Whoa! Hold up. Now th that time that time you had to let me cook and I appreciate that. We got some strength on this one. We're doing some damage. What's your beta fish gonna do, dude? What's your, this is so sad. What's your beta fish gonna do? It's not gonna. It it just it it, it resigned. I didn't even get to see if my I was still I didn't even lose a unit. I still got to... I don't know if this even works yet. Why don't you take a tomato? Maybe just screw up their back line. Honestly, why don't you take an eggplant and just screw up their, their back line even further? I don't know. It'll be weird. Maybe not good. I see a bird of paradise, okay? I also see a little silhouette of a man. I'm, I'm content to let this weirdo run, just see how far it can go. Because we didn't even really get a chance to look at it in the last one. Okay, we've moved their bear very far ahead, which is extremely positive for us. It's okay. You move up, you move back. I move back, you move up. <laughs> him, me, him, him, me. And now we're not getting any triggers for a long time. Yeah, all of my confidence evaporated all at once. But I think it might just be because their squad was a lot better than mine. Maybe, I don't know. Perhaps not. Would love to know your thoughts on this. Uh, I think it'd be cool if you leveled. We're on lethal, huh? I didn't realize we were doing that bad. Mostly because I was, I was like smack talking. Even if we're doing badly, we had some very fun rounds on this one. And we're, we're expanding, we're chipping away at the, at the outer shell of the sum total of our knowledge, you know? Killing the flying fish, it would have been nice to do it before I got a chance to, you know, go off so bigly, but so be it. So, okay, we're still getting a big snipe on you. You're coming up, you're moving back, you're moving back, you're coming up. Yeah, I think we definitely should not have the onion on the ants. I think we should, re and we're going to lose here regardless, but we, we, we don't want to have that in the future. Like, the onion on the ant is fine, but not when it takes away from the extra trigger we would get from the frog, I think. But for now, still had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it, too. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!